What's up, mini chat community? I'm gonna go ahead and make this video uh, because I see a lot of posts asking how to do this. So I'm just gonna make this video. So this is obviously about these guys right here, this Facebook Jason ad. So we'll just show you how to do this. First off, you're just gonna go into your growth tools and then inside your growth tools, you'll just click a new growth tool. And if you don't have this option, you just click it. If it says you need to upgrade to pro, well then guess what? You better just upgrade to pro. It's 10 bucks a month, it's totally worth it. Uh, so anyways, what you're gonna do here is you're going to actually create up your ad, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is just edit this opt-in message right here. And we're gonna give some message for our ad. Hopefully you write better content to, than that. So there you go. Uh, there's a message for your ad. You can see you've got this that goes to the next step. This is where the user actually opts in. Okay, so go back and show you that again. You've got your growth tool. I'm just going to give this a name. Okay, so I got that. I'll go to my next step. My next step, I'm going to actually get the JSON. So let's just look at my message again. I've got this message. All right. So it says this is some message for our ad. Don't you love this content? You can go in and edit that. Hey, let's go save it first. But you can go in and edit that. You can create whatever type of message that you want here. Add some quick quick re replies. Do all that good stuff. Create your entire flow here if you want. Hopefully you already know how to do that and why I won't go over that. So you just create your normal flow just like you would anyways. Okay. Uh, the only thing I will tell you is don't get too complex in your flow. Um, until your second step because if you get too complex in your in this initial flow right here It won't fit inside your JSON and you'll get an error So try to make this one as simple as possible this next one this next attack step this one you can go in and make uh, As complex as you want and that's no big deal. So um, Actually don't make that one as complex as you want neither because if you look what's happening, they're just compiling all this JSON here, okay? So in order to actually understand this, let's go in here to this ads manager right here and let's go create a new ad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new ad. We're gonna create an ad with messages as our objective. So this is my mini chat demo campaign that I'm gonna call this. So here, hopefully you know how to use all this stuff. If you don't know how to use all this stuff, that sucks for you because that's not the purpose of this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a saved, uh, we're gonna use the save audience. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Facebook page owners. So people who own Facebook page between the age of 25 and 55. And maybe we'll just edit that because we don't want these old fuckers because they don't know anything about bots and probably won't understand them. So we're going to target people who are no older than 42 because those people could probably actually understand something about bots. So we're going to change that. This other stuff, you don't have to worry about that unless you really want to get in-depth in ads. This is our budget. We're going to set a start and end date. And we're actually just going to end this two days after we start to fulfill Facebook's policy of a minimum $10 in ad spend. So now we're going to go to the next page here. Okay, so we can use a single image. I'm going to use a single image. I'm going to upload some image real quick of my bot. I'm going to upload this image. And then I'm going to give a headline. There's my headline, so my call to action is going to be send message. So now what I wanna do is I want to set up messages, okay? So now that I wanna set up messages, you've got a lot of different messages here. So what I'm actually going to do, this is a standard message here. 
I'm not even going to worry with that. I'm going to go right here to this JSON. So now you see this JSON here. Let's just preview what Facebook's given us. And Facebook is going to send us, here's what Facebook is sending us, right? They just sent us this ad right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to copy this JSON code. See, I just copied it to my clipboard. Thanks, mini chat, for telling me that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to control A this stuff and delete it. So now I deleted that. Now I'm just going to paste in that code from mini chat. Okay. So now I'm going to preview that in Messenger. You can see this is my code from mini chat if i hit sure i do i'm gonna get my second step here so first let's go in now and just see if we can break facebook let's go in and actually edit this guy right here and actually give a real message you know just keep in mind i'm a software engineer and i'm not a marketer so my content sucks if you want good content hire a marketer Okay, so there's my first message there. Now I'm going to come here. Let's go ahead and add some image. And let's give you this image right here. Put that guy up there. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of, of more content here. Why am I doing that? Because I just want to see if I can actually break Facebook because I see a lot of you guys do that. You get that error and then you also don't know what to do. So let's see if we can get that error real quick. We're going to come here again. We're going to control A. We're going to control V. Preview and Messenger. And you can see, here you go. So now as you can see in Messenger, that this JSON here is only for this very first page. Okay? So just keep that in mind. As long as this page right here, you do not add a whole bunch of stuff to. Let's say, let's look at some lorem ipsum. And let's generate some lorem ipsum. For our ad, here's some lorem ipsum right here. Let's put this inside our ad. There we go. Let's publish that guy. Come back here. Let's get our JSON again. Let's paste that guy in there. Facebook had no problem with that, but I think if I go to confirm this, I think Facebook is going to give me an issue. Anyways, the whole point, if you get an error, like all you guys get an error that it's telling you that your content for your JSON is too long, what that means is that the content for your JSON is too long, that you got too much content, and Facebook won't let you have that much content. So what you need to do is you need to come here, you need to come to the opt-in message, and you need to remove some content. So you just keep removing content until you don't get that error anymore, and then you'll be fine. Like I said, everything on the second page, you can put as much content as you want here. You put a million pieces of content. You can put a million and two pieces of content. You can build your entire flow out. That won't affect anything because the JSON is only for this initial page here. This thing right here is called a postback, and it goes to a postback ID as a callback. So um, you don't have to worry about that. That will just work. So 
this page limits the content. So there you go. Now you know how to do that. You just go in. You're going to go in to your next page. You're going to get this JSON. You're going to copy that code. You're going to come right back here. If you don't remember where you're at, what you're going to do is this is the second page. The first page, all you've done is you've given your audience the demographics that you want to who who you want to see your ad you've given your budget how much money you want to spend on your ad and you've also given your placements where your ad should be now on your second page here you're going to create your ad you're just going to go in and select your page select what you want to do here i've used this video you're going to actually give some information here you see there's your information that showed up. You're going to give your call to action, and then you're going to set up your messages. Whenever you set up your messages, you're going to skip this standard option. You're going to go straight to the JSON. You're just going to delete whatever garbage Facebook has given you. You're going to pipe in your JSON from ManyChat that you get just by clicking on this copied. You're going to get that as soon as you create this bot here or this flow. So as soon as you create that flow and you go to set up, you're going to be able to get this code from ManyChat to place inside here. Now, I've already done that, right? You see that I've already done that. And you can see, here's my payload. This how, if you're a programmer, you know exactly what this does. Um, but this is what actually triggers your second flow. So you don't have to worry about that second flow at all. You only have to worry about that first flow that Facebook is going to do. Let's just preview this one more time in Messenger. So I am making this video for you guys right now, even though that DJ on YouTube does a good job explaining it. So it's pretty straightforward and easy. You saw there is my there is my messenger. Now I'm going to click sure I do. Now I'm going to get my second message. There's some image that I gave. So now I'm just going to go in and say I'm done there. And then I will confirm. Now, why that's confirming, what I think I'll actually do is what I think I'll actually do is I'll come back here and you can edit this at any time. The only thing that you can't edit after the fact is you can't edit this right here. If you edit this after the fact, well, that's not going to do anything because you've got to generate a new JSON. But the second step here, you can edit this second step after the fact and that will actually work in your ad still. So you can come back and edit this at any time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this delay in between that image just for two seconds so that the user can actually see it and you can see my ad's been confirmed and it's being reviewed so that's how you do that and i'll make the video and post it so it was almost 13 minutes